Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q4 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 138, Minimum Amount of Damage Dealt to Bob. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this is, um, honestly, probably, I don't know that this should be a hard, this is a relatively easier problem. Um, the thing is that, um, given that N is 10 to the 5th, um, in a little bit of a meta cheating kind of way, they're really... This immediately jumped at me as a sorting problem, right? Because it's not going to be dynamic programming. I always wish that they had n is equal to say, I don't know, two thousand or something like this, or one thousand, so that maybe some people can solve it with dynamic programming or try to solve it with dynamic programming. I don't know, but this is a sorting problem, uh, and given n is equal to ten to the fifth, it is way obviously a sorting problem, honestly, because there's no other ways to do it. And the way to think about it, um. And because, in a way, it has to be a sorting problem, then it has to be greedy in some way. And the way that you do greedy is by um, this idea of exchange argument. What is the idea of an exchange argument, right? The idea of an exchange argument is that, okay, is that um, you have some ordering, right? And then the idea is that if you exchange it, it will make it better, and you can, and exchanging back doesn't make sense. Right, so you, you have this idea of this ordering, and um, and yeah, and that's basically the idea, right? So then now here we have, and you could do the math, right? Because you have uh, health one, let's say, uh, and what's it called? Damage and health. Damage one, health one, uh, damage two, health two, and we're trying to basically, you know, you have two monsters, and you're trying to compare, you know, monster one and monster two, which one goes first, right? Well, and the idea is pretty simple. Is that okay? Well, how much damage damage we take if we um, attack M1 first, right? Is then now the number of rounds, which is going to be so it's just th their health, uh, H1's health, uh, divided by power, right? That's just you know, that's the number of turns that it takes, right? I'm actually right out. So, turns is to go to the of. To kill M1 is equal to this, and then damage is going to be equal to um, D1 plus D2, right? And then after that, turns to kill M2 is equal to H2 over power, and of course this is round up, right? Uh, damage is equal to D2, and then so you have this formula of, you know, you kind of come write it all together, you have this thing. Uh, I mean, again, all the math is round up, but you know, you can, so maybe something like this, uh, oh, plus D1 plus D2 um, plus ceiling of H2 over power uh, times D2, right? And then now uh, you analyze it for uh, M2, and the idea is roughly the same, right? So it turns to kill M2 is equal to H2, and then yeah, and damage is going to be just D1, right? So that's basically. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the idea, and then you go, okay, if, and then we just take, you know, um, whichever order gives us the fewer damage, we take first. So that's basically what I did here, right? So, yeah, uh, I actually simplified this slightly, so let me actually um, show you the other code uh, real quick. Oops. Let me show you the other code real quickly, right? So, yeah. I think this is maybe more illustrative anyway. So, so yeah, so here we sort by uh, comparison sort, and this is how you do it, right? Um, on the left side, you have this thing. On the right side, you have this thing. And this is the stuff that we talked about. Uh, and this is how you do an integer ceiling, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm not going to prove that right here just because I want to keep this video short, but that's basically what I have here. And this is the left side of X. And this is y, and then we just do left minus y so that it turns negative or not. Um, fun fact is that I actually spent six minutes on this problem, or twelve minutes on the, eleven minutes on this problem, but I spent a lot of time because I had a typo because I copied and pasted wrong, and I had d two here for some reason. Um, so that was silly. But yeah, um, and then you sort it, and then you just kind of basically do the math on on the total number of damage dealt, right? And this is a, a sort of a prefix sum because th th this is the time spent on the first nth monster killing it, and then the damage is that damage that you spend on the time creating it, right? I'm not going to swing this formula. You should be able to derive this. 
uh, I know maybe I'm a little bit lazy, but I want to focus on this part for this video, right? So this is a comparison thing, and the reason how we can um, divide this is that, well, we know that this is going to be left minus right, because basically, just to be clear, um, if, if left is less than right, this is going to be negative. If left is equal to right, then this is zero. And if left is greater than right, this is positive. So that's basically what this is doing. And that's how a compared or fate function works. So anyway, uh, here you can see that the left side is the same, right? So then we could just minus d1 times this thing on both sides. So that's how you can get rid of this thing real quick, right? And then you just minus d1 on this side. Uh, and then the same thing here on the right side, so you can subtract here, and then you subtract here. So that's how you get something that looks like this, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, looks good, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, and one more thing that you can do, right, is that... Um, so you have left minus right, so you can actually, um, without loss of... So you have this thing minus this thing, right? Um, so without loss of generality, you can actually, um, you know, divide D2 on the right side and divide D1 on the left side. Um, I mean, it's not quite right because, you know, you have to think about fractional stuff, right? So you have something like this. Um, I think this is, I mean, this, this is still right, but, you know, you, you may want the position errors when it's equal to which may be a little bit tricky, but but however, what that means is that now um, you, you separated the left side from the left side and the right side from the left side, or right side from the right side, right? Uh, let's give a submit just to make sure. I mean, we might get a wrong answer just because, you know, uh, numerical instability, but yeah. But then now what that means is that from this formula, you are able to... Um, you know, you don't need this comparison anymore because every number here is compared to itself, right? So then now you can convert this to lambda x is equal to um, this thing, right? Or lambda, yeah, let's call it x. So then you have health is going to be equal to the, the 1, right? So here, so you could write it like this and yeah. And now you don't even need to compare though anymore because then now you have every number is represented by this number and you could just sort by this number, right? So you don't even need this anymore. Uh, during the contest, I didn't want to do this reduction because why, right? Why do extra free work when when I could have had it that way? But that's pretty much it. So, um, you know, so when you see someone doing it, or write this crazy formula, that's basically the idea behind the uh, compare door and how how this kind of derived this thing. And also just to kind of, you know, give a little bit of a vocabulary, this is called the exchange argument, is that when you make an exchange, it, it makes your um, global solutions a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is the complexity here? Well, I mean, this is obviously going to be n log n because of the sorting, and everything else is linear and constant time. Um, uh, well, linear time and constant space. This is going to be linear space. I misspoke. My apologies. But that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, uh, if, if you, if I, I know that I didn't explain this part that much. See if you can come up with this part. But yeah. Uh, oops. Thanks for watching. And you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next, including find, find when I made the typo. So go. Only <laughs> 41 million. Let's YOLO go. Hopefully no wrong answer. Oh god. I misread that one so hard. Uh, now we have to fig figure out this one. We have 48 minutes. Uh, we're okay. I mean, we could have been better, but we're okay. 41 minutes. I misread that one so hard. Alright. A lot of people have gotten this one, so we should be able to get this one. Some people got it in 10 minutes even. Alright. <laughs> Energy of power and intuitive of damage and health, both and... and... Okay. And enemies, where enemies of I will do I have damage while they're alive. Okay, makes sense. Every second after the enemies deal damage to Bob, he chooses one of them that uh, is still alive and deals power of damage to them. Okay, determine the minimum total damage. To okay, so what is this? Seems like a sorting problem, right? So, uh, uh, whatever damage, right? 
<coughs> okay, yeah, I mean, this is a sorting problem, right? So what is the sort? So you sort by... I mean, is this just exchange argument, right? Uh, yeah, this one is way easier, but that's fine. Um, we should be able to get this. So for every second... So we want to sort by every second um, it does... So we always want to kill someone first, right? So then it's just damage times health over power uh, round up or something, right? So here we have, um, I don't know, whatever, P or C. Uh, so we want to sort this by... People get this way quickly. I feel like that seems kind of slow, actually. So maybe I'm like I'm just worried that I'm wrong. Um, X is equal to um, X sub one plus power minus one over power. So that's the number of cycles to kill it times um, damage, right? I wonder, I wonder if this is right. I mean, you could. I mean, we can also write this in a more sh whatever way, but what is the thing for exchange Python? Um, comparator. There is a thing that I always forget. And fun tools compared to key. I think I'd like to write it that way a little bit more. Um, and then now it's basically okay. So if okay, D one health one is equal to X. D2, health 2 is equal to Y, right? So then now, if we do an exchange if... I think that's how I write it. We do an exchange if... Um, okay, so that means that if we do X before Y... I need to be better about doing this in my head. But we do x before y, then now the total damage would be um, okay. So the h one plus power minus one over power is the number of cycles. So then now this is the number of cycles before we kill one, um, right? So then you times this by d one plus d two because you take both damage and then after that you add it by um, h2 plus power minus one over power times d2 right okay so then now is this is this a uh, I don't remember we're supposed to return non-zero or, or whatever, but okay, fine. So then now, y before x is then now, um, we have this thing. Okay, so then it's just this, but in here we have d1 plus, and you could probably simplify this, but <coughs> is x1 before xy? I think that's what I want to answer, right? So then now we have this, right? Uh, okay, maybe that, that looks roughly right, maybe. So then now we just do it, right? So then now here for DH and P, we want to say, okay, total for total damage. 
um, also time, time is equal to zero. So then now we want to return total. Um, so then the total time is going to be equal to um, h plus power minus one over power uh, oh, that's just the time I guess okay fine and in total we add time times damage so then that's it in theory it's not good <laughs> it's not enough though it's not right though but okay fine why uh, I, just, I have to double check whether it's the sorting or it's the, the actual math right 50 sounds really off 320 is right though I mean so we get one thing right uh, okay Am I overcounting? I am overcounting. Okay, so we do the damage after the damage is done to me. So okay, so I just want to make sure that is right. Um, okay, how am I wrong? Oh, twenty is actually right. So we're only wrong this one, which is good because I better get something wrong now. Um, Okay, so what is my input? My input is this, and we didn't seem like we sort anything, honestly. Which is not great. We actually want to deal the last person first. Oh, we want to do the most damage, so maybe I did it in the reverse order? I don't know. But then it would be wrong for, Q for problem 2, right? Okay, well, this is not great because it doesn't even do anything. Uh, maybe I just misread how I'm supposed to return here. Um, maybe this should be good. This doesn't sort at all. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, so it does sort when you... So maybe that is just weird. Um, okay. Is it just okay? So the sorting the thingy works, but it's not doing quite what I thought it would. This is impossible to read, also. Um, I have a typo, I think. This should be a D1. I think I did a copy and paste thing wrong. Uh, D1, D2, this is D1. Still wrong though, why? Hmm. Okay, so this is positive. Oh, I, I didn't do the parents right uh, because I was lazy. Also, Larry, st stop being dumb. Okay. <sighs> YOLO. Yeah, I mean, that one is way easier. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.